Hey y'all, Sarah Lou Who here, and we are back again with Heavy Rain. So last episode, things got kind of crazy. Uh, we started things off and it was pretty normal. Detective Shelby was just going by, you know, some more parents. One parent, actually, not multiple, but anywho. He went over to check on this one woman, um, found her baby, like, crying, raising hell, and then found her trying to commit suicide in the bathtub. Uh, saved her from committing suicide. She said she was going to get in contact with her mother, and then we went to look after the baby while she rests up a bit. Um, let's see. Uh, she also gave us a bit more information, or she gave Shelby a bit more information about, you know, just how things kind of went down. Um, apparently her husband is another one that just up and disappeared of, I think she said the day after, it was either the day of or the day after, something like that. It was another one that disappeared in close proximity to her son disappearing. So, um, he also received a, you know, shoebox and the whole cell phone thing. And he went and he found the cell phone in a drawer in the living room. Which is the same kind of cell phone that Ethan got. And Ethan put some stuff together. He went and got uh, a car from the garage. Drove it five miles against traffic. And uh, crashed and burned. Took out some police cars. But we got another clue. And we got some letters for our little hangman. Which will hopefully tell us where our son is. And that's pretty much where we are. Wednesday, 3.15 p.m., two inches of rain. It's getting high. I think it was six inches, right? Six inches is our deadly amount. And finally, we get this chick again. Because we really had no proper introduction with her. Hmm. Although I am a little suspicious of that jacket. The atmosphere here is one of concern, as there is still no news of ten-year-old Sean Marks who disappeared yesterday. Gross. I would prefer washed hands. Ick. Hello there, sweetheart. What can I do for you? Not call a sweetheart. I'd like a room. For you? Anything. Feeling the register. Definitely would not stay there. Madison Page, 27, single. How long will you be staying with us, Ms. Page? I don't know yet. Yeah, that jacket's getting more suspicious. Room 201. Last floor, stairs on the right in the courtyard. Hey, Ethan, looking pretty rough up there, bud. Thanks. The pleasure was all mine. Ugh, that's for sure. Well, definitely not going back in there. I don't care what I might find. Alright, let's take a looky around here first. I mean, I don't expect to find any kind of car down here, so... I'm not sure what exactly I'm looking for. Wonder, can I go say hi to Ethan or do I just have to go straight to our room? I even remember what room he told us. I think that's Ethan up top though. Let's see if I can go up another flight. Um That obnoxious receptionist better not have a spare key to my room. Yeah, that's exactly what I was thinking. <laughs> it leaves me in a cold sweat. Yeah, which is why it would be all like uh Room two oh. Why would you want to stay here? Stairs on the right, last floor. Mm-hmm. 
and a stranger. There's someone there. Is he... Is he wounded? Maybe I should take a look. Sir? Oh, shit, Ethan. Are you alright? I'll call an ambulance. Nope, thank you. No ambulance. You're badly hurt. You need a doctor. Please, just help me to my room. It's number 207. Alright, come on, girly. I am no longer suspicious about your jacket, so we're cool. <laughs> he said, oh, no, where are you going? 207. <laughs> this way, please. Have you got the key? Dude, you are in rough shape. Uh, one. Get opium. Let's see, um, hospital? He doesn't want to go to the hospital. Why? Let's see, I should help him, definitely. He's in trouble. I can't just walk away and leave him like that. Okay, question? He's winded, really sorry. What the hell happened to him? Car crash, actually. I'll help him first and ask questions later. Okay. Look, it's none of my business. I'll just leave him there and tell the receptionist. No. Rude. Super rude. All right, do you have any ice? Nope. Sorry, Ethan, you're just... You're not having enough. You're really in bad shape. You should see a doctor. Must have one, maybe two broken ribs. It's not fatal. But it's sore as hell. I'm bad. It would not be fun. Your head is bleeding. It looks deep. Okay, something in the bathroom. Medicine cabinet, of course. All right, we got random pills. Paraphenol anti-fever. Administer only in cases of high fever. Not sure about that. What's this one? Necrofrin 100 antibiotics. Administer to combat infection. Okay, that one will be good. I do want to see what the others are first. Top shelf. I should disinfect his cuts. That'd be good. And... What's the other one? Sorry, Ethan. Paracamol painkiller. Administer in cases of intense pain. Do not take more than one pill every 24 hours. These are some hardcore drugs for just some random motel. <laughs> okay. Well, this, in fact, will give him some pain I meds. I should disinfect his cuts. And then antibiotics, hopefully. Sorry. I'm going to disinfect your wound. This might hurt a little. going to sting like a bitch. I'll be jail. <laughs> Nope, too fast, sorry. Come on. There we go. So you're fine. There. At least it won't get infected. No blood on the cotton, though. Thanks. <laughs> Pretty impressive. All right. Let's get you... Painkillers. Paracamol painkiller. Administer in cases of intense pain. Do not take more than one pill every 24 hours. You can have one of these. Here. Take this. It should do you what some is good. It? It's a painkiller. It'll help reduce the pain. Only one. It says on the box to take one every 24 hours. I don't think it's a good idea to exceed the dose. Okay, he's really going I for it. To wait. I wouldn't move around for a few days if I were you. I, I'm gonna take a shower. Alright, 
Let me help you. Yeah, from here, man. <laughs> I'll wait here until you come out. Let me know if you need anything. Okay, Maddie, don't go pervin. Wait, can, can we perv? Talk to me. That way I'll know if you pass out. What's your name? Oh my god, we can perv. Weird. Uh, Madison. Are you staying in the hotel? Insomnia? No, I live in town. I suffer from chronic insomnia. I seem to only be able to sleep in motels. Don't ask me why. Whenever I get too exhausted, I uh, I come and spend a night here. I'm I'm just passing through. So you're familiar with everything. And what else do you do, Madison? Apart from fixing up strangers. Um I'm a photographer. I take pictures of uh, oh, furniture origami. for fashionable design magazines. And you? I I'm an architect. Are you now? I mean, we know that, but still. Ah, crap, he's out. Well, I mean, it's all what there was to see. Thank. Thanks for staying. I feel a lot better now. Okay. I better get going then. Good luck to you. Seriously though, no questions? Way, you never told me your name. Ethan. Be careful, Ethan. Hmm. Okay, we can get the window for whatever reason. Guess we can sit on the bed. Gotta take our pee. <laughs> Can't be without the pee, right? Oh, no, nah, I just want to make sure he's peeing like normal. <laughs> and stuff. It's weird. It's weird that we get this option, but... <laughs> I mean, use the bathroom. Gotta take it. Alright, origami. The box. I have to open another origami figure. Uh-huh. He did say he was thirsty, though, so... You know, might want to get something to drink there. <laughs> I don't know why she helped me. I hope she won't tell anyone. Then... thirsty? Man, I'm thirsty. We'll get you, buddy. Wounds? I'm still in pain, but I gotta keep going. Let's go ahead and get you that drink. <laughs> gotta stay hydrated. Especially with all the peeing we're doing, huh? I feel like we're doing good. I don't have much time. I've got to find my son before it's too late. Yeah, good point. Just kind of killing your time here, ain't I, bud? <laughs> I don't know. I don't think I've ever been out here. I can just sit in the chair and all that. Don't think we want to do that. Sorry, sorry. Pain's getting to you, huh? Alright. Uh, I don't have to... Do I really have to close the door? Oh, no, wait. I brought it to the desk. I forgot. Sorry. <laughs> okay, very shaky hand thing. Got it. Alright, where is number two? Number two. 
to a money butterfly. Are you prepared to suffer to save your son? The old power plant on Bars I didn't read it. Something street in Bars I mean, Ooh, street. That sounds like words, right? <laughs> Did she take the origami figure? I need to look back at that. I don't know if she took it or not. If she took it, that might be a problem. <laughs> Unless, was it just the original? And so, because if it was just like the one that we had in our hand before, that might not be as big of an issue. But if it's one of the ones from the box, then she might have just taken a clue. If she took it. I, again, I don't know if she took it. I need to look back at it. I was busy thinking about what else I could look at. Wednesday, 426. 2.74. Eh, 074 inches. Why didn't you shoot? Sorry? Well, back there, Nathaniel could have had a gun. Could have killed me. Why didn't you shoot? Well, you're a dick, and I felt I bad for him. I have all the information before I make a decision. Mm-hmm. I try to make rational choices when possible. Oh, come on, you had a fraction of a second to react. You could have whacked me before you had time to move. Hey, it still worked. Um, ironic? I'm sorry. I thought you were a tough guy. <laughs> a street cop who's been through the mill. I didn't think you'd scare so easily. They Why both seem kind of aggressive, off, huh? Norman. That shit-eating grin right there. That's him. Ugh, sorry. Shifted my legs. You're a slap quarter? Yeah. Is that tattoo or? Lieutenant Carter Blake, I'd like to ask you some questions. Be your choice. Nope, it's tattoos. Yep. <laughs> we got a runner. Shit, don't just stand there. He's gonna get away. Ah. Uh. Hey man, watch it! Uh, damn it. Hey, what's the matter with you? Sorry. <laughs> it's been a while. Triangle! No, come on! Keep it together, man. Circle. We're good. Yeah, that's more like it. Left. Up. Woo! <laughs> Barely hey, making it square. Bruh. That's words. <laughs> X. Think you can stop me that easy? <laughs> so many hoops. <laughs> X. Sorry, got perps to go to. Up. Uh, yeah. Got you, bitch. Nope, don't got you. Really, fish? Circle. Uh, circle. Really, man? Square. Square. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> Why are there chickens? Bad chicken. <laughs> this is so crazy. Where are we? In the meat locker now. Who keeps live chickens in the store? Go. Where the fuck is Blake? Indeed. Where the shit? Where'd he go? I can't see anything here. Okay, cold. Damn place is freezing. My hands are numb. Stress. Come on. Show your ugly bastard face. And determined. No way he's escaping. I'm gonna get that bastard. Oh, bitch. Huh? <laughs> hey, hey. Hell yeah! Hwa! Oh, nope, nope. Not the best hwas. What? Up. Square to the face. Nope. Circle. Oh, I hate when they go out of frame like that. Rude. Okay, dude. Ah. Oh. 
It just froze me. What you gonna do? Circle! Hand up! Yeah, suck it! Who's looking worse for wear? It's you! Took you fucking long enough! Oh, you got shoved in some coffee in your face. whoop de do. This time it looks like we got our origami killer. Oh yeah, this guy. This is the one. I'm sure. Now for a competent detective. Wakey wakey, Shelby. Get kids to save. 2.2 for 4 inches. What? Come on. Mm. Get together, bud. <sighs> Ain't boozing, are ya? <sighs> no, nah, looks tidy. <sighs> Alright, let's see what we got here. Alright, inhaler. R1. <sighs> Gotta get a good breath in. Make sure we share all the gums. And damn, what's down here? No, no booze for us today. And uh, light. Got a cup of case files here. And what's in these drawers? So many mysterious drawers. I got our badge. And we have a gun. Do we need the gun? And I uh, guess up we go. Let's see what's outside. An empty street full of rain. Who could have thought, huh? Got an upper file. That looks like our name. Got a lower pile. Chair, it's a lower. Do we, do we want to sit in the chair? Because we can. Assuming we can also sit on the couch. But the couch does have a newspaper in front of it, so let's see if we can interact with that. Nope, we cannot. We can just awkwardly shuffle from chair to chair and couch to couch. <laughs> Certificate of Achievement, United States Armed Forces, police, police stuff. All the policey police stuff. We got, just I'm guessing city map. Nothing marked on it though. Let's see what we got in our kitchen. We got nuggets! We got cottage cheese and sandwiches and... I don't know what that is. Some kind of drink. Eggs. Mixed veggies. What is this? What did it say? Oh, tomato juice. Yeah, go for it. Keep you healthy. And I ain't even looking at your thoughts. What are you thinking? I've seen the parents of all the victims. And all I've come up with is this telephone and a box of origami figures. Oh. All the newspapers are talking about Sean Mars, the kid who disappeared. Is that the... which one's the door? Are you the door? Hey! You said I could contact you if I remembered anything. Yeah! What's name? Can I come in? Well, it was sure. like... Lauren? Laura? Something like that, right? You're a hooker, Mom. Um, can you I... want a drink? 
Yes, glass of water, please. Take a seat, I'll get it. All right, um, glass of water, glass of water. Water, water, water. Weird place to keep your glasses. Normally I go for the upper cabinets, but teach their own. Lord, I yes. To see her again. I wonder what she wants. Um, do you do you need me to sit down? Just uh. I just remembered something. Maybe it's not important, but a letter arrived in the mail the morning Johnny disappeared. A letter? What kind of a letter? It was addressed to Johnny's father. I don't know what was inside it. But he read it and then he left. That's the last time I saw him. And you think there's a connection between that letter and Johnny's death, is that it? Yes. Do you remember anything else about the letter? Well, I don't know why, but I kept the envelope. Hey! Smart woman. Let's take a look here. Alan Winter. Oh, nothing particular. Except... The address. What's up with the address? the address? It was typed with an old typewriter. Could be a lead, you never know. Mmm, do I want to do that? Well, thanks for your help, Lauren. I'll let you know if it leads to anything. Wait, I... I can't just sit around and do nothing while you're out there looking for the man who killed my son. Ever since you came around, I've been thinking, and I... I want to come with you. Help you in your investigation. I don't know how I can do that. Um, diplomatic. There's nothing you can do to help, Lauren. It's not a good idea. Believe me. If you won't let me help you, I'm keeping the envelope. It's all or nothing. Dangerous. Listen, an investigation like this is dangerous. And I don't have time to play the bodyguard. How many clues have you got, Mr. Shelby? Not many. This envelope. Maybe you're only linked to the killer. I understand. It was a stupid idea. Oh, hold Sorry up. for wasting your time, Mr. Shelby. Wait. You're really something special, Lauren. I'll give you that. I'm just a mother. A mother who wants to find out who killed her son. Are we partners? Ah. Uh. Hell, make for a great story. <laughs> We're partners. Fascinating. Wish I'd gotten a look around his apartment, but more though. Curious about what was in the one room, privacy bed. Ooh, ritzy house. What we got in here? Maybe you better stay in the car. Partners, remember? Wherever you go, I go. I got wherever that is. What are we doing here? We come to see Gordy Kramer. Kramer? The big wig tycoon from Kramer Construction. No, his son. You think maybe he's the origami killer? For now, I just have a few questions that need answers. Okay, should I bother looking at cars? <laughs> I mean, there are a lot of cars. Okay, info. Security guard earned his payoff. Seems there really is a party going on tonight. Okay. Security all over the place. Got I would say safe. Boy's just a little bit paranoid. And last but not least, Lauren. Stupid to bring Lauren. I don't do partners too well. All that just to get my hands on that stupid envelope. Well, we'll see if it was worth it. What do you think he paid for all this shiny crap? There's a 
question, we'll kid. Kramer's decor another time. Are we gonna be here long? This place gives me the creeps. Yeah, I'm gonna go find Gordon kind Kramer. of a weird. Stay here till I come back. Okay. Okay. Weird place. Just let me know if you need me. <laughs> I don't know why. Yeah. God, is any woman allowed to be clothed in here? Okay, locked. Okay, party. Booze, babes, and coke. Gordy Kramer seems to be quite the party animal. Thirsty. Well, I'm here. Might as well have a drink. Nah, I'm good. Hmm. Not gonna be easy to find Gordy behind that big wall of paid gorillas. Hi, I'm Scott. Ah, uh, this music though, right? It's a little loud, isn't it? Turn it a little more chill. Okay, girl. Hey, good looking girl. Keep your mind on the job, Scotty. Jesus, Scott. <laughs> All right, uh. Okay, gotta find Gordy Kramer. Yep, 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 we do. I haven't seen Lauren for a while. Where'd she go? Let us see what she's up to. She's right there. Don't know why they have that goddamn music so loud. Can't hear myself thinking. How you doing? You okay? I really don't like this place. Yeah, it kind of sucks. Can't <laughs> anything. I want to get out of here. Not yet. Gordy's a hard man to meet. Well, I'm going back in. Hang tight. I mean, you wanted to come along. This is the atmosphere. Okay, there has to be someone around here I can, like, chit-chat with, yeah? Who are you? Have you seen Gordy? Sorry, no! Okay, Jay. Thanks. Nope, no drinks for you, bud. Gotta stay sober. We are on the job here. There are cakes, though. Cakes might not be bad. Hey. Hey, man. You think you can help me out? What? I don't know, man. You already seem to be having a good time. Up, oh, up. Oh, hello? You? Who am I talking to? Hi. Hi. Great party, huh? Hi. <laughs> Maybe I can get something out of him. Well, let's get better acquainted, pal. No. Okay, good. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you're my kind of guy. I like you. <laughs> buddy, buddy. Maybe this job does have its work. Now I got me a new friend. Okay, can this friend tell us where Gordy is, though? Nope, I'm just being nice. <laughs> we have a door here, though. To a bathroom, of course. <sighs> Better wash our hands after dealing with that guy. We are way too old for this party. <laughs> Man, surely we have to stand out. Okay, chill. Do you need to go? <laughs> this is so weird! Why is this an option? Well, it sounds like you're able to go a bit quicker than Ethan. Maybe I should be concerned about Ethan's peeing habits. <laughs> See, Ethan kind of has a slow, slow startup going. <laughs> Hey, stripper lady, do you want to uh, tell me anything? No? What about you guys? Oh, hey. Hi, I'm looking for Gordy. You know where he is? I saw him a while back, but you'll be lucky to see him. He rarely hangs out down here with his cat. Oh, really? Why bother throwing a party then? Why don't you go ask him? Cover up any suspicious activities, which I'm assuming is going on behind those two guys. Gordy. Gordy is 
seen anyone. Beat it. Okay. Um. Bye. Look, here's Mr. Franklin. He says I should go up. You talk so crazy if I shove that wallet down your throat. Okay. Beat it. I ain't for sale. Yep, that was a little uh. If I want to see Gordy Kramer, I'm gonna have to go about it some other way. Let's see. Do you have any ideas, Lauren? So, did you find Gordy? I have an idea. He's got two goons blocking the way. Do you want me to handle them? What can you do? <laughs> hey, what are you gonna do? Knock him out with a pair of high heels? God, the music really is loud. Leave it to me. Just be ready to go as soon as they leave the stairs. All right. Good luck with whatever you're planning. Go, Detective Lauren. <laughs> oh, yeah, this is working real great, huh? Really? <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> okay, that works. All right, let's go. Go, 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 bud. Don't mind me. Come on, come on. Your ass moving. This. Miss, are you all right? Yes. Hey, Whew! Good job. Shit. Another one's gonna OD on the dance floor. Okay. Gotta find Gordy Kramer. Okay. Gotta find Gordy Kramer. Okay. Yep. And we did. All right. You guys go for it. We gotta get her out of here. Assuming probably big old doors here. Yep. I feel kind of bad and sad now. Is he all there, or is he just high? Mr. Kramer. Shh, this is the best part. <laughs> My name is Scott Shelby. I'm a private detective. I'm investigating the case of the origami killer. I'd like to ask you a few questions. <laughs> <laughs> Just persist. I'd like I to think this exactly is our strikeout, though. Little Joseph Brown. Beat it! You hear me? Get the hell out of here! What do you want? Okay, factual. A witness saw little Joseph Brown get in the back of your limousine. That was the last time anybody ever saw it. Now, I know you've been arrested and interrogated until your father made a little phone call and the file was closed. I'd like to hear your version of the facts. The kid was lost. I just offered to drive him home. The police arrived, I explained the misunderstanding, and I was released. End of story. Nothing to get excited about, right? Mmm, skeptical maybe? I don't know why, but your story just doesn't check out. You're giving me the crap now. Tell me something I can believe. Very well. I'm the origami killer. Uh-huh. I get my victims into my car. I drown them in rainwater. Then I dump them on a wasteland with an origami figure in one hand and an orchid on their chest. I do that because 
I'm bored, Mr. Shelby. Okay, no, he is there then. And it's a creative and entertaining way of having fun. Is that good enough for you? Or do you want more? This interview is over. Get rid of this clown! Hey! Uh, Lauren, where Lauren at? Look! Hey, you. You first. Should've probably gone for you. After. Square. Damn, Shelby, you good. <laughs> Circle. Yeah. Circle again! Oh god, he has a gun. Hey, yo! We good? Square. I suppose triangle. Too many guns. <laughs> Y'all need to get rid of your guns. And to the right with you. Okay, now how about you? It's a dangerous game you're playing, Kramer. Do you know who my father is? He only has to lift one finger and you won't wake up tomorrow morning. You're the one that should be afraid, Mr. Shelby. Not me. Uh... God, this was weird. <laughs> okay, so he's psychotic. <laughs> and that's where we're ending the episode for today, as soon as it goes through. I was thinking... When we first walked in there, I was... Okay. So when we first came in downstairs, they are all like, Oh, he rarely comes down. I'm like, okay, so he's doing this to cover up some kind of, you know, criminal enterprise. And I think he's probably, like, torturing someone upstairs or something like that. Then we get up there and he's just sitting on the couch laughing at cartoons about the two chicks make out next to him. And I'm like, oh, no, that's not the case. He has the mind of an infant and he's just watching cartoons. I don't know why the sexy ladies are there. Maybe his father put them there or something. <laughs> but, uh, you know, he has the mind of a child. He's watching cartoons and then it's like, oh, no, they progressed. And he is uh, definitely psychotic. Don't, I don't think he's the origami killer. And stuff. He gave a lot of details there, but he also left out some stuff, like smearing the mud and all that. Because did the... Was the orchid and all that released to the public? I know we talked about it at the press conference, but I can't remember. But they also said he was interviewed and questioned and all that and arrested with it as well. So it could, you know, very easily be that he got information from the interviews. But then what happened with the kid? such because did he kill the kid or so i don't remember that name is that the name of one of our victims i don't know but he could be a copycat or something but i'm not convinced that that's our big bad i feel like it's still too early in the game for any of that so unless you know the next few chapters are us trying to find some way to bring him to justice but I'm not sure if that's how it's going to play out. So, that is it for this episode. Um, not sure. I feel like I missed a couple of things here and there. I feel like there was a bit more that I could have looked around at. Like, back when we were doing the whole Madison thing. And, again, when we were at Shelby's place. And stuff, because I still didn't get to go into that one bedroom, I'm assuming. In his apartment. Hmm. Let's see. Kind of curious how this partnership is going to go with him and Lauren. Because, I mean, it's risky just bringing, you know, some random mother along and all that crap. Especially seeing as we're going up against what appears to be Mafia. Oh, it feels like we're getting her into a lot of danger. And I'm sure that'll come with some intense interactions but we'll just have to see how it plays out i honestly wasn't expecting to see her again does that mean that we're probably going to see some of the other parents again 
Because that'll be interesting if we have, like, follow-ups for him and all that. Because I just kind of thought it was, like, a one-off and done for everybody. But if we can get, like, all the parents to work together to try to save Sean, that would be great. Um, other than that, I'm just kind of, like, ready to get back to Ethan. I feel like Ethan right now probably has one of the more exciting storylines. Him and Shelby, I think, are my favorites so far. Again, we haven't seen too much of Madison. They're keeping her really vague, which I find to be kind of weird. No, but I don't think she has a connection. At first, I thought, you know, given, like, the, you know, Eastern influence jacket that showed up and everything, I'm like, oh, maybe we have somebody involved. But, you know, she seemed pretty oblivious to who Ethan was and all that. So I think that kind of rules her out. Um, let's see. But yeah, we haven't learned enough about Maddie for me to be interested in her too much. Yeah, it's just Ethan and Shelby. And same thing for the cop. Like, the cop, we've had, you know, moments with him, but he's very, very clinical and just his things are kind of short. You don't get too much of him interacting with other people. He's just kind of our tool for investigation. Oh. But we'll uh, see what the next episode has in store for Ethan at wherever it is he's going. I don't remember where it said he was going. Warehouse, I think. But uh, we'll see what lies for us in our second task. So until then, like and subscribe if you want to. And thank you for watching.